All right, Rashad Milligan for Rolling Out Magazine. I'm here with DDG. DDG just performed in Atlanta, man. How, how was the show? It was lit. It was fun. You know, my fans always come out, give me a good show, show me the love. I had a nice time. Right, right. And now Atlanta is, is a place that you kind of frequent uh, a little bit over the past few months and the past couple of years. Uh, you know, I remember a couple months ago, right, when you signed your deal, you came to Atlanta and you were recording for like two straight weeks and everything like that. Yeah. Uh, and then you had your first show here. Yeah. How has Atlanta been to you in your career? Atlanta is a big impact. Atlanta really, truly is like my second home. I f*** with Atlanta. Like, you know, I just feel like the culture here is just, I can relate to it yeah. 100%. So, like, if I can live anywhere, it'll be either L.A. or Atlanta for sure. You oh, know what I mean? Nice. Yeah, yeah, I f*** with Atlanta heavy. So, the culture so you, is crazy. You think it may be like at the end of all the YouTube and, and when, when that kind of, you know, I don't know, what, whatever, when you get to the point where it don't matter where you live, you're going to get the so, support or whatever. On, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need a house in Atlanta. I need a house <laughs> in L.A. You know, we're going to do all that. We're going to get all of it cracking. Right, from right. Atlanta. Atlanta show too much love for me. Right, right. Now, now, how is, uh, you know, kind of the, the hip-hop game been treating you? You know, last year, the, the tour was called Take Me Serious, one of the biggest singles, Take Me Serious. Um, you know, now you got Run It Up, you signed the deal, you have millions of views on, on each of your singles, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so how has the music industry been treating you and compared to the past? It's been great, man. It's just been, you know, I'm getting treated like a new artist, mm -hmm. which, is, which is, you know, I respect that. You know, I'm just in the game. I came in with a lot of fans, came in with a lot of popularity, and it's basically just transitioning over. But in reality, I ain't even get started yet, you know. I ain't even dropped the hits, hits, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even, you know what I'm saying? I'm really, I'm really just, I ain't even start yet. Yeah. This is not even the beginning. This is before the beginning, right, you know right. what I mean? So I'm super duper excited. I know I'm going to be huge. I know I'm going to be big. It's just a matter of time. Right, and I know that this is kind of a question I've kind of gone with my, with my friends and stuff. As far as lifestyle goes, do you believe, like, YouTubers are the new rappers? Like, as far as, like, you know, the, the cool status and everything like that. Like, YouTube is a thing to do now. I mean, I feel like YouTube is, like, it's crazy how much money you can make off of it. You know what I mean? You just got to be interesting. You got to be exciting. And that can turn into so many things. You know what I'm saying? We got people turning into actors off of YouTube. Mm -hmm. We got people turning into everything traditional. Artists like myself right. transitioning over. So I feel like once people get it, it's going to become a norm. You know, so I want to be that pioneer and make it happen first. Right, right. Now, now you have the song with Queen, um, another uh, woman from Michigan and everything like that. How's the song, man? Because I haven't heard like a snippet of it. How is it? It's amazing. It's amazing. You know, and it's coming very soon. So I think that song is really going to go crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? That song is going to go retarded. That's like my most requested song right now, yeah. you know. And no, by any means, I'm no Chris Brown. I'm no Michael Jackson in singing, but shit, I get down, and they gonna love that shit. You know what I mean? So I'm super duper excited for that song. That song gonna be huge, so crazy. You, you singing on the Queen record? Oh yeah, of course. And, and any bars? Yeah, a little bit of bars, you yeah, know. Yeah, a little bit yeah, of you know, it's, yeah. but it's a lot of DDG in there, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's a bunch of surprises in there. Got the music video dropping with it, so it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be dumb. Yeah. You know, listen to me. It's going to be dumb. <laughs> okay? So, right. you know, we just getting started, like I said. Just getting started. And you've been dropping a lot of singles, wrapping up now. Um, when, when is the next project coming out? Project coming this very soon. I can't give you a month or a day yet yeah. because I got so much stuff in the works. But just know a lot is coming very, very soon. You know, we got a lot of stuff lined up. And, you know, we finna, we finna take over. For real. We finna take over. All right, well, I appreciate you so much, DDG, for coming and sitting and talking to me. Sure, man. Rashad Milligan, Rolling Out Magazine, DDG, Atlanta, Georgia, we out.